Hi guys, today we are going to see Michaelis Menten equation. Already I have uploaded a video in Michaelis Menten equation that is part 1 general introduction and the parameters and postulates given by Michaelis Menten is clearly explained in that video. If you want to watch the derivation part, first you watch that uh, introduction part and then come back to this part 2 then it will be easy for you to understand okay uh, now I am going to derive the equation let's see how he had derived this equation in Michaelis Menten equation you have to concentrate on three important points the first point is initial velocity the rate of the reaction mainly depends upon the initial velocity that I have represented as V0 in the derivation part. Next one is rate of formation of ES complex. So depending upon the ES complex only you will be getting the product. So that I have represented as RF and next one is rate of breakdown of ES complex and this I have represented as RB. Formation can also be represented as association. Breakdown can also be represented as dissociation. As you wish, you can use these two terms. So, let us start with enzyme catalyzed reaction. So, here the enzyme and substrate reacts to form ES complex. You have to write this with square bracket because square bracket represents concentration of enzyme that is particular concentration of enzyme reacts with particular concentration of substrate to form ES complex at the rate of K1 this is the rate of this reaction here the formed ES complex can dissociate in two forms one is enzyme and product, another possibility is enzyme and substrate. So, when it is breaking down into enzyme and product, the rate is K2. When it is broken down into enzyme and substrate, its rate is K3. With this equation, we are going to derive this equation fully. As I told you before, we have to concentrate on initial velocity V0. V0 is equal to, you have to write the equation. For this, I have given a tip. So, no need of memorizing the equation. Just you can understand and write this equation. So, you have to consider the product formation step. In this first equation, the product formation step is, this one in the product formation step you have to take rate and reactant this is the hint so here the rate is k2 and the reactant is es don't memorize just understand and write the equation the second step you have to concentrate on rate of formation of es complex so, the step in which the ES complex formed is E plus S gives ES. So, this is the rate of formation of ES complex step. The same hint rate into reactant. In this reaction, the rate is K1, reactant is E and S. And this will be the second equation. So, in the uh, next one is rate of breakdown. I have already told you that there is two possibilities. So, the rate is K2 and K3. So, K2 plus K3 and in this step the reactant is ES. So, this is the rate of breakdown equation. According to Michaelis Menten, rate of formation is equal to rate of breakdown. So, RF is equal to RB. 
on equating equation 2 and 3. K1 into E into S is equal to K2 plus K3 into ES. Here I have rearranged the equation in such a way that the constant are taken in one side and the variables are taken in one side. So the equation is shuffled as this ES divided by ES complex into K2 is equal to K2 plus K3 divided by K1. So often when you are writing this it will be a complex process. So shortly it can be converted as Km. Km is nothing but Michael is maintained constant. The equation obtained by equating rate of formation and rate of breakdown of EF complex is Km is equal to E into S divided by ES. This will be the fourth equation. Next we have to find total enzyme concentration. Total enzyme concentration is nothing but free enzyme plus enzyme along with substrate. So we need only enzyme concentration according to fourth equation. So when rearranging the equation becomes ET minus ES. This will be the fifth equation. So we have to substitute this fifth equation in the fourth equation. Instead of E, we are substituting ET minus ES in the fourth equation. So here the substituted value I have shown in a red color. So the value is ET minus ES into S divided by ES complex. In the next step, you have to multiply this each and every value with S. Yes. After multiplying with S, we are getting this equation. We have to cancel the common terms present in numerator and denominator. So here these two are common. So you can write this equation. So the uh, we are getting this equation so with the negative sign S. Yes, will be shifted to left hand side then the equation becomes km plus s is equal to et into s divided by es so according to equation number one we need only the concentration of es According to first equation, we need only ES concentration. So, on interchanging the ES to left side, we will be getting the equation ES is equal to E into S divided by e, ET into S. Sorry, ET into S divided by KM plus S. This will be the sixth equation. So, we have to substitute this sixth equation in the First equation. Here the initial velocity V0 is equal to K2 into ET into S divided by Km plus S. This is the equation we are getting after substituting. So now uh, the K2 into ET is represented as V max. The reason is when all the enzymes that is the total enzyme is participating in the reaction in the product formation step k2 represents the product formation step it the velocity of the reaction will be maximum so v0 is equal to v max into s divided by km plus s this is the michaelis menten equation i have explained the derivation of michaelis menten equation in this part and in the next part, I will be explaining you about the graphical representation as well as the Vmax, what is the role of Vmax and Km in this equation. Okay, thank you guys.